My name is Rabbi Jonathan Tuller, and I run the Chabad Chesed program. Chesed means kindness, charity, anything that you can do to help another person. Chabad is always taking phone calls from people who need help. The Rebbe told us a mission in life that we should go to every corner of the world and reach out to those people who are just waiting for somebody to come along and help them. I'm Michael, and I'm an unemployed engineer. I'm Joy Slavin. They have a relationship that I don't see most people have. 30 years we've been together. In recent years, you know, the economy has changed. There are more people ending up homeless or in financial stress. Now, no matter what you do, it's a real battle of money. What happened is three years ago, I lost my teaching position with LA Unified. Her husband is unable to work because he's, he's disabled and sick. My husband gets um, a disability check, but not enough to cover the whole rent. And so we would stay here a week or two and then stay outside for the rest of the time. If they can't stay in the hotel, they have no choice but to, to, to look for a, a quiet bench, some area that they find familiar to them. And uh, they sit there, they sleep there and, and everything. Well then if we don't have the money, we're out in the street like next week. I don't know yet what we're going to do uh, for the room next week. We're, we're covered for this week thanks to the rabbi's help. But other than the rabbi's helping us out, it's, it's been very hard. How can you let these people just be on the streets? Their debt is, has, has only gotten bigger. So, you know, their chances of recovering from where they are, you know, only get worse and worse, especially with their health going down. If we don't help them out and they're on the street, you know, what, what are they gonna, they, they won't live. I, I like to have a relationship with them, you know. I don't want to just, you know, slip a check in the mail and not have to see them. I know that when I go see them, I know how much joy it brings them. So why not go out there, visit them once a month, I, go, I get to see them. And, you know, we sit and have a little schmooze, you know, and, and uh, Michael tells me every time I go see him, he goes, oh, Rabbi, I love it when you sit with me and, you know, you talk, you know. Like, nobody else will do that with him. He, when I was in the hospital, he came and visited me, and he stood there a long time. I don't know what we discussed, but I, I just know the conversation was fulfilling, and I enjoyed his company, and I was so glad he was there. You know, caring about people is, is the foundation of the Jewish religion. You know, that's, that's everything. So if you can't do that, I mean, what else is there?